I can breathe easy. We're in the eye of the storm now. Last week, we had 16 regionals to cover. Next week, we will have 22 regionals and district championships to talk about. But this week, week five, just four. Only four regionals to talk about. And despite having only four regionals to talk about, there is still no finals match footage for one of them and no finals match two for two of them. So to hit my eight minute quota to get that ad revenue in, I'm gonna talk about a couple of the district events as well because I have gone a month somehow without talking about one of the best, if not the best, robot in the world, OP Robotics. And I really need to talk about them. So let's talk about it. Week 5 hits the mic. Let's get into it. The stakes have never been higher at the Las Vegas Regional because we have the one seed of high tide, high rollers, and high scalers winning it all. There's no match footage of the finals, which is very unfortunate. I was gonna make so many gambling puns. I was gonna talk about them doubling down on scoring, going all in, but I can't. Guess it just wasn't in the cards. The match on screen is the first playoff match, with the 1 seed beating the 8 seed with the high score for the event, which they then broke in match 11 against the 3 seed and put up similar scores in the finals matches. The 1 seed outscored the 3 seed 411 to 227 in the 3 playoff matches they played. High Tide and High Rollers were so high scoring in this event. In this match, they were unstoppable despite the Mega Metobots trying, which led to them getting upended by the High Rollers. No penalty on that on that hit? No penalty? I'm not asking for a card, just like no penalty? The humans, which is the team name, the second pick on Alliance 1, got KO'd after a hit with MRT, which took them out for the remainder of the playoffs. I've never seen a day-ending injury happen to a robot before. War also stalled out heading into Endgame, but the High Rollers and High Tide had it pretty much in the bag by then. We got the one seed beating the six seed at the Midwest Regional, with the Hawaiian kids getting their third regional win of the season, called it. They teamed up with Gear It Forward and State Line Robotics and beat Wild Stang and Control Z, who respectively are three-time world champions and reigning world champions. We don't have footage for match two, but it was not as close as the first one. Auto was all sorts of haphazard with shots flying every which away. Control Z had a wall bot going with defense that won them match 11, but it looked like the one seed had adjusted to it. Wild Stang and Crobotics tightened it up with their speaker shots, but the Hawaiian kids assists kept the scoring going. The six seed only got one bot up, while the one seed got the triple and the trap note to boot in the very high win. The one seed took down the three seed at the Monterey Bay Regional with Madtown and Quicksilver just doing what Madtown and Quicksilver do. They each made three shots in auto with the Spartabots stealing one of the center line notes from Madtown and draining it. Madtown put together assists while all the blue bots sent rings their way. Sparta bots switched to defense as Antares and the Breaker bots scored, but not as fast as Red. The one seed went 11 for 11 at the speaker, while the three seed only went four of six. And basically, all of that red scoring was Quicksilver and Madtown 
as the rockin' bots play defense. Madtown didn't get the trap note, but they didn't need it. This regional also had no footage of Finals Match 2. It only had Finals Match 1, but we get the gist of it. If you thought 115 to 71 was lopsided, Finals Match 2 was 135 to 61. The two seed took down the four seed at the Orange County Regional because who says the one seed has to have all the fun? And four seed it was with the second pick being Team 4. Not Pally Robotics, Team Element. And Element was not in their element in auto with their slap shots missing the mark and causing a penalty. Code Orange got two in, as with Mew Botics. No, not that kind of Mew. God, what is wrong with Gen Z memes? Everybody was sending assist shots in this one, with Element leaving a penny at the amp for Nomad, and this one should have been a way closer match. Mew Botics and Code Orange were quick with their bots and true with their aim as the two seed combined for 12 of 14 at the speaker, while the four seed just made nine shots on 18 attempts. This one got out of hand very quickly and the two seed gets the sweep. The one seed beat the four seed at the first in Michigan Kentwood District event presented by Bear Aspirant to take when you have 10 million heart attacks while watching the Kentwood District event. The two, three, and four seeds all lost in the first round of the playoffs because Michigan is just built different, guy. Enigma Robotics and Tech Vikes are two of the best teams in the Michigan district. Enigma is ranked seventh and Tech Vikes are number one in a state of over 500 active teams. These two are some of the favorites to win states next week. That being said, Demon Robotics and the Digital Dislocators, which are just boss ass names, gave the one seed a run for their money. The one seed won finals one in a close one, but Alliance Captain Enigma subbed out for Scrap Cat Robotics. Tech Vikes put up four auto shots while Digital Dislocators did the same. Both sides got cycles going, but with no Enigma, the one seed couldn't keep up. The four seed pulled away with it down the stretch, meaning we need a third match. The four seed had the small lead in auto, which completely went away with all this scoring, and it seemed that Enigma and Tech Vikes were faster, especially with the assists that the Vikes sent over. It looked like Red would close it out, but Blue put together faster cycles. Blue got all three bots up, while only Enigma and Vikes got up for Red, but they both dropped off trap notes, and boy howdy does every point count. The dust clears, and the one seed wins the tiebreaker by one point. One point. This is how every finals match should go. Except, please no. Next week has 22 events. If every single one of them went to a tiebreaker to win by one, I would be in a coffin. The two seed beat the three seed in a close one at whatever the hell a Friendswood, Texas is. The Robonauts had their swivel turret, swivel turreting, and they sent assist shots to their side. Blutonium had connection problems at the start of Teleop, but they sprung to life just in time to watch energy heroes knock themselves out on the stage. That put 118 on sole scoring duty as Blutonium played box defense on the wrong side of the field. You're supposed to be over here, you're over there, no, no one's going to- There you go. The mismatch let Chips and Steel Talons go after the speaker, 
and Robo Lobos try to slow the Robo Nuts down. Good luck, because this is a very fast robot. 118 handled the three on one beautifully, doing all the teleop scoring, save for Blutonium parking and the Robo Lobos already being there, and then they got off the ground. The three seed just got one up as well. Sometimes five extra points of penalty can come in real handy for the five point victory. We're closing things out with the McMaster University event for the Ontario District because OP Robotics. I really wanted this one to be OP versus Symbotics in the finals because those two teams just seemed to rule the entire province of Ontario. Symbotics was ranked 7th and chosen for the 2 seed and for whatever reason, they just didn't seem to get it going in the playoffs against the three seed as both of their losses in the playoffs came against them. This finals was just raw offensive dominance. OP got three of what would have been four shots in auto, but the Tronic Titans beat them to a centerline note, though MM Rambotics got their four in to give Red the lead. Sparbotics immediately stalled out, which does not help the three seed in the slightest. OP Robotics has just been so OP, too OP in fact. Their speed and accuracy means they spend less time going up and down the field, and their swerve makes them damn near undefendable. Brainstorm Robotics posts it up with their angry bot, but the 3 C didn't make too many shot attempts. They scored 28 points in Teleop. For reference, OP Robotics scored 24 points in Teleop. Enormous win, as OP stays in the top spot in Ontario, one of the best scorers on the year, and undefeated on the season. Thank you for watching. I know this was a bit of a short one, but I guarantee you, next week's won't. I get that district championships need to be week six because you have to have all of the district events to wrap up before you have district championships miami ohio was week three last year Ten Thousand lakes was week five last year and the oklahoma regional was week two why have so many events next week so few this week maybe the robot gods just have it out for me Let's just hope that all the match footage gets posted online in time for me to talk about it because who's ever winning these events going to Worlds. It is last call week six. I will put in a couple of pics of who's winning what in tomorrow's video for the bits. Make sure to leave comments about what else I should talk about. I will see you then. Make sure you stay well rested and well hydrated for week six because these regionals and these district championships are gonna be insane and as always gracious and victory professional in defeat amen 104 103 you can't get it any closer holy cow